Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys the first things you should do before you update your device to iOS 15.2. Now this is an amazing update I really love it it has a bunch of new features and some really really important features that will make your life easier using your device on iOS 15. But of course there are always things that you need to do and prepare your device before updating your device to this next big update. Now in this video I will show you guys everything that you need to know and do before you update to iOS 15.2. Now the first thing you should do on this video is leave a like. Just leave a like on that little like button underneath this video. That really helps out a lot. It helps this video do much much better and of course it helps this channel a lot. All right, so the first thing you want to do if you're like me and you're always using the iOS betas, make sure you remove the beta profile if you want to update to the public release of iOS 15.2. Now, if you go to general and you scroll all the way down here to VPN and device management, you will have your iOS 15 beta profile. Now, if you're on iOS 15 beta 3 or beta 4, which should be released probably today or tomorrow, then you will be able to actually update to that update and then after that remove the profile before installing the public release of iOS 15.2 when it comes out. But if you update to the RC version which should be released in a few days then that's actually the final version which also gets released to the public so you won't get an update for iOS 15.2. So if you're just in beta and you just want to update to the official release then just go ahead and remove the profile and reboot your device and then when it gets released probably in a week or so you will be able to just update from the general settings from the software update section directly to iOS 15.2. One of the first things I suggest you do before installing iOS 15.2 on your device is you do it right now, turn on App Privacy Report. Now this is a new feature that Apple has introduced with iOS 15, but if you're on iOS 15.1 or 15.1.1, you go here, you will see nothing. All you have here is just this button to enable or disable this feature because of course, as of now with iOS 15.1.1, there is no user interface right here. What this will do is basically will collect all the data that apps and all the sensors that apps has used over the past seven days and display them here. So make sure you turn it on even though you don't have a UI because in the next week it will collect all the data and once you get iOS 15.2 on your device you will have all the report there ready for you and of course you can view everything you want. So always make sure you have app privacy report turned on iOS 15.2 is quite a big update. So if you're planning to update to iOS 15.2, then based on the device, you should have four to five gigs of free space on your device in order for you to be able to actually update your device to iOS 15.2. Now, of course, if you don't have free space, you can make free space by maybe removing any videos that you don't need that all actually take a lot of space or maybe removing any downloads that you have or any apps that you don't actually use but are taking a lot of space on your device. Or what you can do is go to the iPhone storage section right here under the general settings and just see what is taking more space on your device and make sure you go ahead and clear that stuff in order for you to have enough space to actually install iOS 15.2 on your device because as I said the update will be at around 5 gigs. And of course if you're someone that just likes to update whenever a new update comes out but you're not in a rush to actually update the minute it comes out all you have to do is just make sure you go to settings go to general go under software update and have the automatic updates turned on and of course your device will automatically be updated to iOS 15.2 just make sure you plug it in during the night and you're good to go you don't have to bother with anything everything will be done automatically. Now, as I said, iOS 15.2 actually has a ton of big new features. Here's one of them, the redesigned scheduled summary of the notifications. Now, if you use the new scheduled summary feature on iOS 15, you will get now this new design. It actually looks really, really good. Now, what it does, something else really useful right here if you tap on the number of the notifications that you have now you will have the chance to actually clear all of these at once now previously you had to do them group by group like this now you can just tap that little x button right there and clear 
all the notifications that you have on a scheduled summary. Another big new feature of iOS 15.2, the ability to let you know if that iPhone has an unknown part, an unknown battery. So if you get an iPhone, maybe it has a battery that it has been replaced. And of course, it's not a genuine battery. Your iPhone will let you know right there. Go to settings, battery, and you will find it under battery health right here. You can see that little message right there that indicates that that iPhone has an ungenuine battery. And what's really interesting, finally with iOS 15.2, you can now search within playlists. So you go to one of your playlists, and all you gotta do is just scroll down and you will get a search bar right there at the top where you can of course search for any song that's within that playlist that's of course a big new feature of ios 15.2 and of course it also has bugs now it will have maybe a few bugs and but that's based on devices different people with different devices will experience different little bugs not any major bugs as of right now with ios 15.2 one bug that I have seen a lot of people report, and it's actually pretty serious, I hope Apple will fix this before it gets released to the public, is the auto brightness bug. So even though you have auto brightness turned on, auto brightness doesn't work. A lot of people have been reporting this. So auto brightness doesn't actually work as it should. And sometimes when people just wake up their device, auto, br auto brightness will go all the way down and then just keep climbing up. And of course, not be on the level it should be based on the ambient light so that's a really serious bug hopefully it will be fixed before the public release now when it comes to performance and battery life you have to know that it is good the performance is quite good we have here the cpu tests from geekbench and of course it shows there an increase a really small increase on the single core score but quite a decent increase there on the multi-core score so the performance is actually really really good and if you have one of the newer devices of course it will be great battery life as well is not that bad at all i had this of course since beta one and i've experienced really good battery life you can probably know not like notice a huge huge improvement over ios 15.1 or 15.1.1 but still you will have a great battery life maybe slightly better than ios 15.1 and that's always really really good now of course now that you have your device ready for ios 15.2 you want to know when it gets released so let's quickly head to the calendar right here so today as of today we're on of course november 30th and we're on beta 3 of ios 15.2 you can expect another beta to come probably out today or maybe even tomorrow and then later in the week or maybe not at all we can see the rc version getting released but what you can expect to happen is apple to release ios 15.2 the next week so the second week of december the week starting with the 6th, you should see iOS 15.2 going out to the public. Apple goes on holiday from the week of the 14th, so that of course is the big indicator that iOS 15 will be iOS 15.2 actually will be released before they go on holiday because then we have to wait until next year. So expect Apple to maybe just go straight to the RC version today or tomorrow and then maybe on the 7th you can see ios 15.2 getting out to the public these are the dates that i'm expecting apple to release ios 15.2 and of course always make sure that you have your device ready for this big update so that's basically it guys thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you will be enjoying ios 15.2 again it's a good update it has a bunch of big features and of course you will find most of them pretty useful thank you guys for watching leave a like on the video and of course don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one